Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this video we're going to go over the grid units, uh, how to set that up, and uh, the units for the general scene. Um, so here's my uh, Farnsworth model. Um, the origin of the grid is right here, so the grid doesn't really extend far enough to really do much of anything to help me uh, you know, set this up or get any type of perspective on it. So first I'm going to go up to Customize and do the units. Unit setup is right here, and uh, units, since I already imported them from another program, uh, they're in feet. And uh, if you're just starting off modeling in 3DS, it's, they're going to be generic units, which are just numbers without anything behind them. Um, so I would suggest s starting your model with uh, in feet or meters, depending on whatever you're doing. And then you can pick a uh, tolerance. And then default units, feet or inches, are just whatever you type in. When you say, "Here's my box," or "I want the, you know, length to be 10," um, it'll just automatically go to feet here, and then uh, inches if you select that. And then the other one, you'll have to type in, you know, 10 uh, inches with the double quotation mark if you're in feet for to to get it to be inches. So say, "Okay, it sounds good to me." And then now we want to extend the grid a little bit. Um, up here we have the these magnet uh, buttons with magnets are the different snaps. So I can right click and quickly get into the grid and snap settings. Um, snaps are have have their own tab with as long uh, with the options. So I'm just going to go to the home grid tab, uh, and that just deals with what this looks like on the screen. So by default, the uh, grid spacing is 10 inches. I think that's kind of pointless. I'm just going to go to one foot. And that's uh, every individual box. And then major grid lines, kind of a darker grid line every 10. Uh, that sounds fine to me. And then perspective grid view extent uh, is how far do we want it to go. So this is from the origin to the outer reaches of the grid. So here's. 80, you know, kind of a lot, but I can close that and then I'll close my group here and then I can just move my house in a fair amount. So it looks like it's above the grid just to make sure. I will go uh, Alt W and go into the front viewport. Alt W there. And uh, yeah, it looks you know, pretty close on the on the money so zoom out there and uh, in the orthogonal viewports you can see that the grid extends forever and by default the grid is uh, dynamic so here is a good example of where the grid uh, units are one foot and then the darker grid line every 10 feet but then if I zoom out you can see they change to uh, the smaller ones just fall out, and then uh, the brief grid line over the, the 10 foot. So something to uh, keep in mind, just think about your objects and model them in a real scale for a good reference. So back into the perspective viewport, and there is my model uh, on the grid with the correct units.